Alrighty, so I got a request today from uh, somebody in the comment section of one of my recent videos and he was asking if I could go over some of the other bundles and stuff like that uh, that they have in the game. So obviously free to plays need to look away because uh, this isn't really going to be suited for you, but uh, I guess if you're really interested, I guess you can watch. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the bundle section. Um, obviously there are purchase diamond like bundles I guess that you can get uh, just a quick look over most of these are not really worth doing honestly um, the only time I would say that they're really worth doing is maybe for the tickets and that's only if you're willing to spend a pretty gracious amount um, and you're just really looking to splurge on like a, a festival um, other than that, most of the time you can get better better diamonds per dollar for like some of these special bundles. So the special bundles tab is probably going to be your best bet as far as actual like value goes. Um, this gold bundle, I think it's only like 300,000 gold. Yeah, this is trash. Although it's only $4, 300,000 gold really is not hard at all to get. Um, there's even a half stamina starting this week. So on the weekend, just farm some books uh, and you should be able to get a gracious amount of gold way or actually you don't even have to farm books anymore there's a gold you can just farm the gold dungeon now with the new fort Solgris. i completely forgot about that so uh yeah you can get <laughs> you know like a couple of hours you could get more than three hundred thousand gold and it would be nothing it doesn't cost you anything so uh gold bundles in general just are never really worth it in my opinion doesn't matter how much gold they give you they could give you uh, they could give you millions of gold and I still don't think it would really be worth it. Uh, Festival Hero Acquisition Bundle. This is 27 US dollars and although it does give you some pretty nice stuff, um, I don't know, honestly the limit break materials really aren't that like that worth getting on this. The thing that you're really getting here are 7 S uh, guaranteed uh, Part 2 SSR tickets, which is okay. But there's a lot of like nowadays in this in this ticket, there's a lot of clutter in here. So the odds of you actually getting what you're looking for is probably not the greatest unless you like need a, a, quite a few characters from this sort of selection here. Um, like this red Jericho isn't really all that useful for a lot of things. Green Droll is pretty okay. Matrona is pretty bad. Uh, Zaratros is very niche, probably considered bad to most. Um, Blue Zeldris is okay. Green Fraudron is, you know, kind of situational. There's just, it's, there's so many heroes in this bundle and a lot of them are kind of older now that really aren't worth using that I would say this is probably not worth buying at $27 because more than likely it's, you're going to get characters that you don't want and they're just going to become super awakening coins or coin shop, you know, trades. So, uh, I don't know, really not in my opinion, not really worth going for. Sorry for phone noises. Um, one year anniversary special ticket bundle. So every so often, obviously, we're doing a lot of festivals and stuff like right, uh, like right now. And uh, in the middle of this festival, there should end up becoming uh, a Valenti and Red Easton banner. And although that banner might be okay, uh, this is where you're going to end up buying a lot of the tickets and stuff like that for those uh, specific banners. So unless you're just really interested in those characters, which I'm kind of interested in Easton or not Easton, but Mark II Valenti. So I may end up coming through whenever that banner comes out and seeing if I really want to spend uh, like enough diamonds on some of these uh, to like to actually summon on the banner. I may end up doing it, but that's just because I've got a little bit more <laughs> like interest in that character specifically. And uh, I've got a little bit of money that I can kind of throw into the game where it doesn't feel uh, super crazy. Obviously the $80 bundle is very, very, uh, very hefty. So uh, it really just depends on how much money you're willing to spend on the game and if you actually think that it's going to be worth your time. So uh, I don't know. Obviously, this is seven multis, plus it gives you two multis worth of diamonds. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's kind of a super situational thing. Uh, then there's guaranteed bundles. Uh, sometimes these are okay. Kind of like right now, there's this bundle going on right now. I've already kind of went over it, though. Um, 
it's really situational on what your current you know standings in the game is whether you have certain characters or not uh, you kind of have to just look at these and determine whether or not it's worth it to you like there's six characters on this banner uh, obviously the odds of you getting a specific character not very good but if you were like hey I don't want to summon on the banner at all and you know there's this guaranteed ticket where I could just spend you know twenty four dollars and get one of the heroes and I get a free third or like not a free but you, I get 30 diamonds with that um, it's not terrible. They do a lot of these bundles and stuff like that for like collaborations and stuff like that, which I think there should be a collaboration coming up pretty soon with ReZero. So there's probably going to end up being one of these style uh, bundles where you can get, you know, one ticket that's going to guarantee you a collaboration unit and it'll probably come with a little bit of diamonds and stuff like that. And uh, these are okay if you're really looking to try to get those, you know, characters and everything like that. But uh, I would honestly say buying a diamond bundle and probably just summoning on the banner would most likely give you sort of the same results. So, I mean, obviously this can, you just bypass the luck of having to do so, but uh, I don't know, it's really up to you uh, and what you think your, you know, <laughs> how your luck rolls really. So uh, yeah, that's a big one. Uh, this diamond step up bundle is probably the best value for diamonds at the moment. They used to do other sort of diamond uh, bundles and stuff like that in the special bundles, but they've pretty much stopped doing those and started doing this step up system. As you can see, I've already bought some of them because with the announcement of the collaboration coming up uh, on JP and the Korean versions of the game, I know it's going to come to global pretty soonish. Uh, and there's a whole nother festival that's coming after this Assault Mode Meliodas banner. Um, so I went ahead and bought a couple of diamonds just to kind of keep myself topped up so I can make sure that I can get the characters that I want. So honestly, these aren't bad. They, they really do have really good value compared to just purchasing diamonds from the regular like buy diamonds sort of like shop. Um, obviously like you can spend $80 here and you know on the other one it's going to give you i think it's 102 diamonds plus 102 diamonds on a normal day whereas right now with the festival going on it gives you 66 tickets or something like that for the the festival banner um and then right now if you buy this one like the 80 dollars version of this is 102 plus 148 which ends up being 250 diamonds whereas normally it would give you just over 200 diamonds so you do get a pretty decent little increase there so as far as like your value goes this is definitely better than the regular sort of uh like the regular buy diamonds sort of prices and what you get for those um Obviously, I think I've already went over these two bundles as well. Uh, this one specifically, this one right here, the Festival Enhance Bundle, you'll notice that if you go over to, yeah, this one right here, the normal bundles, these are like baseline, hey, you can buy these anytime you want, basically, and they're not really great value, in my opinion, like $23, and this one gives you 30 of each upgrade material, and it gives you three treasure chests for some reason, um, whereas you can spend pretty much double that price, unfortunately, but you get way more value out of it, and instead of getting 30, you get 150 um, for a little bit less than double the price. So honestly, I mean, if obviously it is you know, if you're dealing with limited money, you probably don't want to buy these in general, but uh, you could buy the other one easier, but this one just has much, much more value. So obviously you would want to go for that one if you're looking for festival, you know, costume enhancements or whatever. So yeah, I don't know. I still don't really like these bundles too much. Like they're, they're okay if you're trying to like rush in, like you haven't grinded a whole bunch previously to the, you know, the festival coming out or whatever. But honestly, as long as you're not in a hurry and you're not trying to like, say Meliodas comes out and you're like, oh my god, he just came out. I, I really need all of his cosmetics completely maxed out so I can just go straight into PvP with him immediately. Then if you don't have the stuff grinded out, this is probably you, the bundle you would want to get. But even then, as long as you're a little bit patient with it and you're not worried about using him right as soon as he comes out, if you haven't grinded out the materials, you can always just grind these up later over time and it's not going to cost you any money. You just do it in-game and it just takes up, you know, material like time and stuff inside the game so it's not really the biggest deal it just depends on how much of a hurry you're in and how much money you have and how much we want to spend on the game so yeah um obviously uh here's another uh limit break materials sort of enhanced bundle i don't really like these it just pendants i feel like i get a pretty good amount of pendants just from doing the fort solgris special dungeon and then uh the like these 50 of these demon horns and stuff like that really aren't that hard to get over time like honestly if you just go to your knighthood if you're in a knighthood 
or if you're not join a knighthood um i actually have a knighthood that you can join if you want it's mana but uh we as long as your uh, knighthood is level four or higher you can actually buy um like foods that are specific to fighting demons and they will give you extra demon enhanced materials every time you beat those so i would definitely recommend just doing that and then just doing more demons than you're you like instead of just doing however many it takes for your dailies you know do a couple of extra demons you know a day or a week or whatever it, you know it may be and you'll you'll end up stocking up on these very easily so i just i don't think these are really worth the value although that's only eight dollars i mean that's eight dollars you save as long as you just play the game so yeah um homecoming equipment bundles these come with these uh the ssr uh, equipment pieces honestly these aren't really all that worth it to be honest because even if you use this the the equipment piece that you get still is rolled randomly either way so it's going to give you a random roll on the main stat and all the sub stats that you get from it so it's not like it's really that big of a like an upgrade you you'd be better off just grinding overnight or just throughout the day trying to get a piece that already has a good base stat on it and just spending hammers and anvils um just trying to you know work on substats anyway because you're going to have to use the same hammers and anvils to get this you know piece that you get from that already and it just it doesn't really equate to like anything great i don't know even if like this would be the equivalent of just going on to a random stage with the SSR like equipment piece that you wanted and just running it a couple times on the hardest difficulty until you pulled the SSR piece at a random stat and then just rolled with that. It would be the same same thing. So I don't know. That is just a really bad bundle. Not worth getting at all. Um, I have bought this bundle once. Um, these are really nice. At the same time, they're really RNG heavy because obviously everything in this game is RNG. Um, I bought a thousand anvils at one point and I went through pretty much all of them on one singular like gear set, uh, which it doesn't sound too bad, but a lot of the rolls were really like bad, just like my regular anvil rolls are. So it just, these, honestly, this, <laughs> these thousand anvils frustrated me more for the fact that i bought it because it really didn't help me all that much it just kind of made me realize hey i spent a i spent money on a thousand anvils and the rolls still weren't all that great so i basically just wasted my money um i mean obviously it gets you the rolls like it gets you more rolls whereas normally you'd have to wait for like an event to come around or whatever the case may be so you get more anvils but uh i don't know these after buying that first one i don't think i'll i'll buy these anymore unless i'm just really desperate for anvils uh plus it's 24 dollars, so that's a little hefty so i don't know up to you but i'd say probably stay away from that one unless you just desperately need anvils um, homecoming equipment bundle obviously so you can see some of these are homecoming stuff these that just means that it's tied to a specific event there was a homecoming sort of event that was going on a couple of weeks ago and i think it'll be here for the next couple of weeks as well so these uh, bundles will still be in the game but i'm sure there's going to be stuff that are like this in the future anyway so kind of take some of this with a grain of salt because the bundles aren't going to be the exact same every time but uh these are very interesting it's weird how they market this at 40 dollars, and all it is is the stuff to get one singular ur set because obviously this could uh engrave six different pieces of gear to ur uh, and although that's great honestly as long as you stay on top of doing your like training grotto each week uh or you don't even really do it each week it's like every five days or whatever it unlocks um this is basically just like a shortcut bundle like hey i need i need to engrave a set right now i've already got the pieces ready to go but 40 dollars is pretty hefty i don't like this bundle i've never bought this bundle i've never been desperate enough to need this bundle um i don't think i would want to buy it in the future i would just say kind of stay away from this make sure you just stay on top of doing the events and stuff like that um uh, don't just make UR sets willy nilly, I guess. Just actually plan your UR sets out and make sure you're you're building them for characters uh, that have multiple, you know, uses and stuff like that. I don't know. Just I I don't like this bundle specifically. It just doesn't really have a whole lot there for me specific. So, uh, and then here is a starter gold and stamina bundle. Like I said, most of these gold bundles absolute trash. Plus you get. <laughs> five stamina recovery pots which is you can do a multi in the game and pretty much get five stamina recovery pots from that or more so uh i don't know honestly most of these bundles are not very you know great um the subscription bundles these are what i recommend 
the most. I don't even recommend the subscription like stamina bundle because it's really not all that worth it. Um, I recommend these diamond bundles. These do really good. You get an immediate 30 diamonds. Over the course of a month, you get 140 diamonds. Plus, it makes it to where you can uh, get a 100% deathmatch guaranteed. I know they do like... Um, sort of like events for that every so often but it's nice to just be able to go in and get like my dailies and stuff like that done a little bit faster with this plus you just you get so many diamonds over the course of a month and it's i think this one specifically is like 24 dollars a month and then they there's the weekly one which is like eight dollars a month and uh, i get this one as well uh, which is really nice because you get 10 immediately and then you get 49 over the course of a week and I mean, it just, they all add up, honestly, like even though they seem kind of like a small amount, it just, it builds up over time and it gives you a pretty decent amount to kind of work with. I've been buying these for quite a while now. I think these are honestly the best value probably in the game because $24 for like a hundred and like six, what is it? 170 and or 170 diamonds is uh pretty nice. Cause I mean, normally to get that kind of, to get that kind of stuff, you'd have to buy like this big bundle, which gives you Obviously, this one gives you like a little bit, you know, more than that, but $24 as long as you're willing to wait for it. Like you just, you buy these preemptively, you know, like say you're looking forward to the, the ReZero collab that's coming out pretty soon. You would buy these now and, you know, continue to buy them until it comes out. And then you should be stocked up on diamonds as long as you're not wasting a whole lot of them. Um, and it'll just, it helps a lot. So I don't know. I like those the most. Obviously, probably none of these are going to be worth getting unless you just really want stamps or something specific. Um, the equipment bundles are all pretty pretty regular. Like like I said, a lot of these, in, in these three tabs right here, you're not really going to want to buy stuff out of this. You're probably going to want to try to find a better deal on the same stuff for less um over here on these special like you know bundles tab so that is pretty much all i have to go over to be honest like none of that other stuff is really worth your attention uh, the only other thing that you could really go for as far as a bundle is if you were looking at specific characters uh, and their cosmetics and stuff like that there this is a pretty decent deal say i was looking at melascula specifically um, you do get three ur pieces which is worth 90 diamonds by itself plus they give you a 30 diamond like bonus for buying the set with money um, which is pretty decent honestly it's a lot better than jp's does they would actually on jp and the korean versions of the game they don't give 30 diamonds out per purchase it's just the ur cosmetics which you know that kind of sucks for them because you know that's free extra stuff that you're getting on the global version of the game which is probably one of the very few things that we get that they don't so uh I don't know. Honestly, if you're if you're really liking the character or whatever, and you don't want to spend your diamonds because it is going to be 90 diamonds to get a full UR set, um, sometimes it is kind of nice to just go ahead and buy the actual set itself. Like for my case, I bought all of the Assault Meliodas cosmetics because I really liked Assault Meliodas, and uh, having the cosmetics is very helpful. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you with your spending <laughs> habits, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this was just a viewer request. If you have any other sort of, you know, videos that you would be interested in me trying to explain about the game or whatever, like sort of questions, uh, I don't know, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I will try to uh, either make a video on it or just answer it straight up if, it's, if it doesn't seem like it would be worth making an entire video on. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you then.